So we're going to be modifying the height of rows and the techniques that we use for this are very similar to what we did for columns. We can take the mouse and position it on the line between our rows and we can double click and that would give us best fit. Uh, we can left drag or we can just click in a row, go to format and go to row height. So those same three techniques that we use for columns are also available for rows. And for the first one, what they would like us to do is use the drag method. And we're gonna go on the line here between rows one and two. And we're going to left drag down until we see 19.8. And that will make row number one a little taller. So we're just gonna position here, push the left button, drag down, until we see 19.8 and then we're going to release. Our next task is to modify the height of rows 2 through 14 to size 16.8. And we can do all of these rows at the same time. So we're going to position the mouse over the number 2. We're going to left drag down to 14. Okay, that highlights all of our rows. And then we're gonna position over one of the borders here in the middle. And it doesn't matter which one, okay? As long as you're on one of those lines that's on the inside of this highlighted range. We're gonna position, we're gonna left drag down to 16.8. And when we release, all of the rows will be adjusted. And you all know I have a hard time getting the exact number, so. That might have to be good enough. There it is. Now I'm going to release. And you should have noticed that all of the rows are now adjusted. For row 15, we are going to adjust the height of that one as well, but we are going to be using the row height dialog box. So we're going to click anywhere in row 15. We'll go to format and row height. They would like this one to be 20. So I'm going to key in a 20 and click OK. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and click on Save. 